So we're going to take a tour of the Dr. Ernie Baum Curriculum Resource Center located in Conway Hall 226. When we come into the door, we have some display cases on the left and the right that students uh, often have projects in. Uh, we have our service desk, uh, the main focal point of help in the CRC. And we have a CRC mini lab that's got some computers. We've got a uh, scan station and we've got a go print station. Um, we also have, uh, we are a mobile printing hotspot so when you first come in through the lobby uh, to the right, immediately there's our wonderful um, Powers Reading Room. Uh, we've got plenty of spaces for studying. Uh, it's a beautiful place uh, with some alcoves with some illustrative artwork in them. And when we go further into the CRC, we've got a couple rooms right near the service desk. Uh, the first one being our environmental collection. It's uh, been billed as the largest environmental collection of children's literature in the world uh, by our namesake, Dr. Ernie Bond. And it's got some uh, wonderful materials as well as illustrations in it. We also use the room as a study space. And next door to that, uh, we've got another space that we're building a collection for the uh, history of American literacy and it's not quite finished yet but we're trying um, and as we move further into the CRC we have a couple gallery walls uh, we have some work of, Dr. of Brian Collier an Eastern Shore native uh, who's won some major illustrative and author awards uh, we've got plenty of tables and we've got some plenty of study carols um, have a couple extra computers out here that we've moved out here for social distancing. Uh, we have the um, Holocaust Education and Human Rights Collection um, that we've separated out from the other collections. As we move further into the CRC, uh, we do have a seminar room that's a little larger uh, that can be used for study. and. Uh, Got a couple whiteboards in it, as all three of our study rooms do. And then into the collections portion of the CRC, uh, you see we have a couple stands with big books on them to be used in the classrooms. And then we have our main collection. Uh, on the right-hand side, against the wall, we have the Newberry collection, uh, which is... Uh, Pretty complete and then further down in the corner we have the Caldecott, collect, Caldecott Award collections and along the north wall all along the north wall we have our easy book collection which is by far our most used collection for uh, early learners and then uh, aisle one we've got historical fiction and uh, in particular, it's uh, got the date range within the call numbers so that you can uh, browse which era you want a story about. And then we go into our fiction section. And then we move into the nonfiction section. And then up on aisle 9 and 10, we have our international collection. Uh, our namesake and other faculty here like to view children's literature in an international or global scope. And hence, we have a lot of materials that are international by international authors. We also have a smallish foreign language in Maryland collection down on, on the last aisle. And then the last thing we have down in this corner is the 226T classroom where some of the children's literature classes are offered. So, And that concludes our very brief walking tour of the Curriculum Resource Center. And I hope to see you all here. This is a wonderful place with great atmosphere and you are always welcome. Thanks.